Hey, all you wonderful people in internet land. I'm called Matt, and uh, as you probably noticed, um, the Oscar nominations have come out, and it's a pretty solid list, honestly. Um, I might make a video about that later, but <laughs> I mean, good list. Uh, I, I was really happy they nominated Jordan Peele for Best Director. If he wins, I'll never shit talk the Academy again. <laughs> But that's not what I'm going to talk about today, because uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about something perhaps a bit more relevant to my channel, the Razzie Awards, which, um, for those of you that don't know, it, it's pretty popular at this point, but for those of you that don't know, the Razzie Awards at least claims to be the worst movies of the year, um, you know, giving awards for like the worst stuff. Worst movies made, or worst actor, worst, you know. It's the Academy, but for bad movies. God damn, people sure are making a lot of noise outside my dorm right now. What is up with that? So I guess I can't really get into the nominees without at least talking about how I feel about the Razzies. Which is, I think they are normy as hell. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the word normie because they're fucking normies, but, uh, what else am I going to call it? Basic as fuck, way too mainstream, like, the Razzies has ceased being the worst of the year and is now just the most hated of the year, which, like, I'd be fine with if they just called the... Call it what it is. This is not worst of the year. This is most hated of the year. And it's it's sad that because this is, it feels like that's not always been the case. Um, true, they never got any like deep cuts like Troll Two or Hobgoblins. They always managed to overlook films like that. But. Yeah, that they were always mainstream Hollywood, but still, it's like they they did a good job finding what was the worst of the year. They they were a big reason Battlefield Earth is as popular a bad movie as it is today. That, that they played at least some small part in that, and it just and it's it probably comes with the popularity. The more people that discover it. The more watered down, the more mainstream it's getting. Because, you know, back in, like, 1980, when it was, like, one dude making fun of Xanadu and Can't Stop the Music, you know, those were some deep cuts, good pulls, hilariously awful movies. And now, shit like The Emoji Movie and Transformers The Last Night. And it's like... Not that I don't think those are... I didn't see them. But they're probably fucking terrible. But dude, come on. Like, such the, the mainstream choices. Like, last year, all the awards went to either Hillary's America, which probably deserved it, or Batman Superman. Which... Come on, guys. <laughs> Batman Sup... I, I, I saw... At least three movies worse than Batman Superman last year. And I try not to actually go out and watch bad movies. Maybe if I hear about it afterwards, I'll like check it out at the Red Box if I hear it's like hilariously bad. But I, I try to avoid watching movies that are that bad. But I saw at least three movies last year worse than Batman Superman. One of which was from the same people as Batman Superman. It was Suicide Squad. That movie was so much worse than Batman Superman, and you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> like, this is universally agreed upon. S Suicide Squad is way worse than Batman Superman. They also have this weird tendency to confuse being in a bad movie with giving a bad performance. And, like, cause like, last year they nominated Ben Affleck, worst director, for being Batman. And, like, Ben Affleck's the best fucking thing about that movie. 
Besides the action scenes. The action scenes are well filmed, and Ben Affleck is good. That's it. <laughs> and then there are actors, they'll just say like, oh, well, they're bad, so anything they do, automatic nomination. It's like the reverse of Meryl Streep. Bo Derek got like worst supporting actress nomination for being in Master of Disguise. And that's... <laughs> I, I can't even call it a glorified cameo. It is a cameo. It's literal cameo. But, you know, Bo Derek, the anti-Meryl Streep. Anything she does gets a Razzie nomination. So now we're going to talk about what's actually nominated this year. And... It's not a great list. Worst Picture nominees, The Emoji Movie, Transformers The Last Night, Fifty Shades Darker, The Mummy, and Baywatch. Baywatch? Why, why would you pick Baywatch in a year where Chips came out? Like, Chips has fucking nothing on this list. You know what does have a nomination on this list? Worst Director... Darren Aronofsky for Mother. Fuck off. I get it. Like, like, even if, even if you didn't like the movie, even if you didn't get the movie, even if you thought it was annoying, there were technical aspects to that movie that worked. There were... You can't just be like, oh, it was because the directing was bad. Maybe you didn't like how it was written or the things that happened in it. But you can't get mad at Aronofsky's the worst director. No, he did a great job directing that movie. Maybe if it was like two or three years ago when Noah came out, you maybe you could have slapped him with one for that. Which, by the way, Noah, zero Razzie nominations. So... <laughs> So, actually great movie from Darren Aronofsky. Razzie nominations. This garbage. Nah. They also give a Worst Actress nomination to Jennifer Lawrence. And, like, that is the best I have ever seen Jennifer Lawrence. I don't like Jennifer Lawrence as an actress, okay? I think she is very untalented. But I think she did great in Mother. It's the best performance I've ever seen her give. So, that's my first, well, I guess not my first big point. But that's, there's one big point. You can fuck right off with your mother hate, because that movie was amazing. And let's talk about your worst screen combo nominations. Because you have gotten so fucking lazy with this category. Any combination of two characters, two sex toys, or two sexual positions from Fifty Shades Darker. Any combination of two humans, two robots, or two explosions from Transformers The Last Night. Any two obnoxious emojis from the Emoji Movie. Johnny Depp and his worn-out drunk routine. From Pirates of the Caribbean, Tyler Perry, and either the ratty old dress or worn out wig from Boo 2 a Medea Halloween. Like, one joke nomination for this category is funny. When they're all joke nominations, none of them are. That's just the category now. Now it's just the. Oh, it's a bad movie, so we're going to give it a nomination and just make some joke about anything in this movie. <laughs> Worst combo, anything in this movie. <laughs> Back when Barbed Wire came out, Pamela Anderson's boobs got nominated for Worst Screen Couple. That was funny. This is not. And lastly, and this is probably my biggest thing here, while their Worst Picture nominees might arguably be at least among the worst movies of the year, I'm gonna still dispute you on Baywatch, but... I, I can't disagree, like, I've hated every Transformers movie, 
The Emoji Movie deserves everything coming its way. Fifty Shades Darker, whatever. The Mummy, I couldn't even get through 20 minutes of, so I can't... I... Yeah, I can't disagree with anyone who says The Mummy is shit, because I only watched 20 minutes of that. But here's the thing. I don't really care about the worst movie of the year. I want you to call out all the hilariously bad movies made this year. And partially from experience and partially from what I've heard, 2017 was a pretty good year for So Bad It's Good movies. There are two movies I'd really like to watch. And in fact, as soon as I'm done here, I might go hit up the red box and rent them. I think I got a two-for-one coupon right now. There are two movies I heard were hilariously awful. Wish Upon and The Snowman. I've heard they were just hilariously awful. But even if they turn out not to be, I can name at least one great So Bad It's Good movie from 2017. And I am so sad I did not watch this before I made those videos where I talked about all the movies I saw in 2017 for four hours. I really wished I had seen this so I could have talked about it. Book of Henry. Hilarious movie. It is doomed to become this decade's Battlefield Earth. It is so awful. The structure is awful, the dialogue is awful, the plot is awful, the acting is actually pretty passable. I mean, this movie is amazing. You really highly recommend just how awful this movie is. Especially if you're into the... into the narcotics, you know. Well, whatever your drug of choice is, you know, get drunk, get high. Probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't do anything stronger than that, honestly. <laughs> but you know what? Get drunk, get get drunk with a bunch of friends. Watch this fucking movie. It's so hilarious, and it the Razzies didn't even fucking touch it. Mother, oh yeah. Let's fucking call out one of the best movies of the year just because a handful of people didn't like it. Because reaction on that honestly has been pretty mixed. Which, you know, is kind of to be expected from an Aronofsky movie at this point. Like, I don't know why people are surprised at what Mother is. It is an Aronofsky movie through and through. Like, maybe you don't like Aronofsky. Fair enough. I love the dude. He's one of my favorite directors. But you can't act surprised when Aronofsky makes a movie just like Aronofsky always makes. There's nothing to separate Mother from Requiem for a Dream or Black Swan or Pi, you know. All pretty equal, honestly. Uh, in conclusion, um, I feel like the Razzies is kind of a rite of passage if you want to get into, like, bad movies. Like, you find out about it when you're young, and you're just figuring out that bad movies can be hilarious, and you're like, ha ha, there's an award show where they make fun of bad movies. And then you just travel deeper and deeper and deeper into the shithole until you get to where I am. Fucking reviewing Evil Dead 3 over here. And that that's how you know. That's how you know you're an expert on bad movies. When you hate the Razzies. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Maybe possible future video about the Oscars. Um... Have a lovely evening. Goodbye.